Alright guys, let's go back again today. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far. And with Optic Texas finally being confirmed, Crim6 though is being sure to not give them it all their own way. Certainly has a few interesting words to say for the Optic fans, for the Green Wall, but also from the players themselves, during some pretty entertaining tourneys over these last couple of days. Very much interested in your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, it's the best thing you can do to help this channel reach more people. Please consider subscribing as well if you have not already. Of course, this is when Scump confirmed the roster officially last night with um, Scump, Illy, Dashy, Shot as we know it is going to be. But um, also there's some Envoy, right, who was of course on the team. And there were some really emotional, great moments during the process that um, kind of uh, talked about when Envoy was leaving the roster. But um, Envoy kind of gets his own back in a way because uh, yesterday, I believe, or maybe the day before now, there was a tourney that went down between Envoy and um, the Los Angeles Thieves guys and the new Optic team, and they beat them in the grand finals of that one. And Envoy, um, yeah, he's getting back in business right here. 4v4, this is the $4,000 Elite Champs with Draza, Octane, Kenny, and Envoy. And um, all these guys have been looking at pretty damn good. But actually, last night, Neptune was filling in for a time for this Los Angeles Thieves team, and they also looked very good indeed. So lots of teams looking very good early on here in Vanguard, which um certainly a good sign for us as Call of Duty fans, as I touched on a little bit yesterday. This, of course, was from last night, then the CMG one and done champs, draws like Kenny and Neptune. He filled in for Octane for a little while, and um, yeah, Neptune, it was absolutely fine. There was a few nasty clips that came out. This one, for example, on um, well, 2v4 and an ace versus the phase guys, that um, obviously all of these guys have been looking pretty good. But watching Neptune is just, um, it's a lot of good fun. And really, the SMG duo on that, well, the New York Subliners in general, as we'll look at here in just a second, is um, very scary indeed, right? Because, of course, the New York Subliners did pretty much team up once again to play a number of different tourneys. But the main one we're going to discuss today was this Boom tourney, which effectively was one Warzone pro, which, um, I mean, some of these Warzone pros were former Call of Duty pros, not all of them, though, plus three regular CDL pros and one of the CDL rosters. And they had a pretty good time, especially the Chrome 6 and the New York guys versus the Optic match. That was a pretty entertaining one. We'll have a look at here in a second. But yeah, Neptune, Ace Plus 2v4 versus FaZe. He manages to get in this window as well. These windows are honestly an absolute nightmare. He just about gets the defuse in time. That was a tight one. We'll definitely look at another tight defuse towards the end of this video that was pretty ridiculous. This also then from Neptune, $3,500 GB champs with the New York guys because they've been having a pretty good time of things the last few days as well. But, um, well, yesterday they played in this pretty big tourney, the Code Red Boom 20k tournament. And as you can see, one Warzone Pro plus three CDL Pros. The Optic team was Optic plus Tommy. So, of course, um, not Tommy that being Zuma, but Tommy the Warzone Pro now technically, but for a long time he's been a Call of Duty pro in the league. The New York guys were playing with Unrational, it was rated plus the Toronto team, and you can see the rest of the rosters ready right here. A bit of a pickup team ready with Shotzi, Stanley, Priest, and Aiden, but they actually made it all the way to the Grand Finals, we will have a look at here in just a second. This other was kind of funny, you know, because d Crim6 was in a good mood when he was um, dropping the happy birthday to Rated in this type of manner, but Rated actually confirms he will be competing in Challengers this year, so he's going to be making the return. Whoever wants to win in Challengers, drop your main ER, I'm a lot better, learned a lot since I took a step away into Warzone, will be the best teammate I've ever been. Let me know who wants to grind a win together. He's been doing some pretty damn good work so far in Vanguard, so excited to see if Rated can make things work here. I'm sure he's going to get a solid squad in Challengers, and I'll, um, well, I'll certainly be keeping an eye on his progress as he tries to get back into League, as with many other individuals. This then from Crimsix, right? So he's already calling it Crimsix's Castle. I thought this is kind of funny, really, a clip that came out against the Los Angeles teams a couple of days ago, with Krimsix straight up wallbanging everyone through the entirety of the castle. This is the thing, really, with this, um, with this map and also with this game in general. The walls are very thin indeed. You can do stuff like this with the FMJs on. And, um, I mean, yeah, you can just demolish people all the way across the map. Probably some things that do need tweaking in this game. But um, guys like Crimson, guys like Clayster especially, are ones that generally are pretty good at finding this type of stuff out relatively early on in the cycle. So last night in that boom tournament, Crimson and co. played the Optic team in the tourney. And, um, well, Crim certainly has a few words to say for the Optic fans. For some reason, like, just because the Optic Texas announcement comes through, like, um, some Optic fans, I guess, that, uh, well, I maybe used to be Crimson fans even when he was part of Optic, um, well, helped win the mini taller back in the day, come into his chat and start talking trash. Not really sure why people do this, right? He seems to let, Krim seems to live in these guys' heads rent free. But um, anyway, Krim has a few words to say for them, right? And it certainly continues those words on as the tournament continues. Wait, what? Yo, hold on one sec. Yo, to everyone in my chat that's a optic cocksucker, bro, yo, how did that L taste by FaZe yesterday? How the f*** did that L taste by us? <laughs> The other, the day one, Crim's <laughs> Castle. Chill, 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 you say the chat's getting to me. I say I'm getting in your team's cheeks, okay? So f off, you little, <laughs> you, <laughs> you dirty little f rats, bro. Wait till Paco can speak English fluently, bro. I swear to God, he's gonna smoke your team and then he's gonna hit on your mom, okay? <laughs> so listen, listen, you little. Oh my God, I'm gonna, uh, dude. Someone stop me. Hold me back. Paco, hold me back, bro. No, 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 hold no, me back, bro. No. 
<laughs> With that being said, I'm going to go make some popcorn and watch the process. <laughs> Absolutely naked. This is also a very exciting sign, I think, for competitive this year. Clayster and Co., of course, this is during the series. That, um, I mean, like the boys on New York play up against the Opta guys. And as you can see right here, Hydra, this is eliminations. Hydra drops 68 a limbs. Krim has 58. Clay has 56. I mean, I'm not sure that's 25, but they still win the map anyway. Like, um, this is honestly insane. Like, 68 eliminations. I'm pretty sure he had 50 actual kills this game, which is on this Bow Cage Hardpoint map, which is really exciting, right? Because I generally like it when there's a lot of engagements, a lot of um, a lot of situations going down on the map all the time and we saw back in advanced warfare people could drop like 50 60 kills but in the most recent games a 30 bomb it's a pretty big deal now um the fact that there could be 50 kills on a map going on and hydra's already done it here against the optic team definitely um look respawn might not play great from what i've seen but um still could be an exciting facet of the situation no doubt this also i thought was kind of funny from shotzi eventually the grand finals goes down after the optic guys get taken out by crimsix's team and shotzi has a few words to say like kind of um you, you remember that classic like when Ake says to, to Clayster, that's why you got dropped after Karma snipes him or whatever. That, um, you know, Shorty Keller does the same thing to Crimson here. Pretty sure he reads it from his chat, but thought it was entertaining regardless. Ow! That's why you got dropped! Uh, Brad, yo, chill, 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 chill. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I literally read something in the chat, dude. <laughs> I literally read something, yeah, I read something in the chat, dude. I swear to God. That's why you got dropped, Mr. X. I'm There's also some stuff, as Clayster points out right here, I hesitated to expose, but decided the Game 7 in the Grand Finals was worth it. Like, um, this is one of these crazy spots here on Demyansk, when uh, they kind of tell on Rational, yeah, look through the four. This is just the broken stuff that's in this game right now. Like, obviously, this stuff is probably going to be changed. But, um, I mean, yeah, a lot of this stuff, especially with the bomb glitch, just is way too easy to abuse. These are the clips, if I didn't share these for you guys already, just thought it was, um, you know, entertaining, really. When Crimson eventually takes down the Opti guys, he was kind of frying these last couple of maps, especially this clip right here where Crimson's kind of guns illy and says, yeah, your chair might smell, but mine smells way worse because um, I guess effectively trash talking saying, yeah, well, you might grind the game hard, but I grind, grind the game even harder, baby. Like, I'm better than you. I thought um, just the trash talk from Crim is absolutely phenomenal at times. Two that spawn, two that spawn, Daniel. Front search, oh, front search. Yeah, just all, just all. You, then? I'm walking my back, I'm just walking my back. I'm stunned. One. Bottom mid. I'm sorry. Right, I kill the guy, I kill the guy. I'm getting out mid. On bomb. Oh my god, Ender! Oh, you fat Loser, bro. Let's go. <laughs> God, your chair smells like shit, but mine smells worse, bro. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Uh, one's, in help. one's in alley. One's in alley and one's behind the truck. The truck could, does. I see. Could, 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 could. Ah! Ah! Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Mother, get the out of my lobby. And anyway, they end up winning the entire thing. 4-3 in the Grand Finals in that Game 7 as we just saw that clip comes through in the end. And the Optics team gets taken down in the Losers Finals. They come third. And well, that was how things went at the end. Also wanted to mention this because a big tourney coming up in just a couple of days that um, a lot of the pros have been discussing. Look, can we have another tourney going on? Like how long is it going to be until we get a good one? Kind of want to do some sort of kickoff CDL tournament, but uh, it might take some time. But Hitch is like, yeah, we've got a 50k tourney just around the corner. It's actually $70,000. The CDL before the CDL. Eight teams 4v4 variants and um thought this is really cool so this is going on in a couple of days so now we're actually kicking off tomorrow evening and well as you can see on the right hand side we've got eight smg duos in the league and on the left hand side we've got eight ar duos i mean of course tommy and karma like they're not all in the league but um you can see a lot of uh, individuals right here and they're effectively going to spin the wheel tomorrow night or maybe tonight later tonight or something and um decide what the rosters are exactly going to be so um, that's pretty exciting i mean seventy thousand dollars that is a serious price ball this is going to be another good one to watch i am sure this also from Doug Sent to Martin, 1v3 versus Seattle Surge. Gotta say, like, despite the bomb glitch going on right now, the kind of diffuse glitch, there's been some really nice clips coming out. The amount of clutches that I've seen already in this game is um, really exciting. I think the fast time to kill definitely benefits it, but I mean, pretty much everyone I see is popping a 1v3 or 1v4 even. There's been a few of those already. So I mean, it just makes you think, wow, we're going to be in for a pretty good year in terms of S&D clutches. Look at this play from Doug. He kills this guy, takes the bomb to future, spins in, guns this guy as well versus Seattle Surge. That's a nice little 1v3, but um, just to give some credit 
to the Seattle Surge guys and sent us saying, you know, someone said he wouldn't do it on LAN. But um, Doug says, yeah, I already did that on LAN ages ago. Taking down the Optic Dynasty in that Advanced Warfare map. I'm pretty sure it was like Recovery, Search and Destroy. This famous clip that Doug is talking about right here. Sleeveless Doug, straight up undeniable. But, um, you know, speaking of the Seattle Surge, just to give them their props, this is a pretty disgusting clip here from Preds, where he takes down two and makes realistically the only play he can possibly make to win this round. To, um, you know, wrap all the way round, take down Draza. And then the most impressive thing about this for me is that he kills him. It jumps out the window so quickly right here, gets to the bomb with literally 7.5 on the clock and diffuses at 0.0. .0. Unbelievable stuff. Very much intrigued to your thoughts on all this stuff in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Tell us the YouTube gods this is a good video. I was like you should see it as well. And I've got the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you as always. Take care. And I will see you next time. Yeah, man, he pushed up. Oh. I don't know. Nice. I'm the one playing top, probably. Mm -hmm. Josh. Oh Let's my go. god, okay. You might have gotten it. I don't you know, it, you bro. Got it, you got it, you got it, you got I've it. Seen, got I've it, seen closer, it. bro. You got it, you got it, you got it. Bomb dead! Send over left. I didn't send anything left again. Yeah, I'm planting the bomb, buddy. Alright, go for it. You give me up, Nick. Deep left. Yeah. Not, I'm weak, I can't have the left door enough. You're good, you're I top. Mid, you guys safe? I'm at the barn. Near 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 Oh, oh my god, god. Wow. Who was the last one right there?